Please be aware that the Orphan series is intended for a more mature audience as it does contain quite intense scenes throughout. Wait, what do you mean they're gone? Oh, yes. If you could please elaborate, Doctor, on how two orphans are gone, considering I was sitting near the front door the whole time. Um, I'm not sure, ma'am. I went into the room to check the noise and they just were gone. Well, maybe you should find them. We have some very important meetings happening soon and I don't want them jeopardized. So find Evelyn and Ash now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you two. Yes, Dr. Speck? Stay here and tell me if either of them show up. I'm going to check the upstairs first. <sighs> I'll be at the front door, girls. If you two see anything and don't report it, there will be consequences. Don't need this kind of stress right now. <sighs> oh my dog. Where do you think they went? It doesn't matter where they went. If they keep pulling stunts like this, they're going to ruin my chances of being adopted. Caroline, you can't be serious, can you? You still think you're going to get adopted from this place? Yeah, I do. The festival is starting any day now, and I was super excited to have the opportunity to be adopted. But if you all keep acting up like this, it doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore. Listen, I know that you're friends with Evelyn. And I understand that this orphanage isn't the best, but you have to tell her to stop messing things up for me. Or what? You're going to tell on us to Mrs. Harrod? I thought I could trust you. We're all meant to stick together in here. Yeah, well, I thought I could trust you too. I thought you and me were good friends, but as soon as Evelyn came into the picture, you've been acting strange. And I just can't trust you anymore. Fine then. Don't trust me. Evelyn and Ash were right to doubt you. You've taken so much medication, you don't even know what you're saying anymore. You might as well be Mrs. Harrod's pet zombie at this point. <laughs> I'm the zombie? Listen to yourself, Maya. You're doing whatever Evelyn and Ash tell you. Maybe I'm the only sane one left in here, huh? I bet you never thought of it that way, did you? Now why don't you just shut up and leave me alone? <sighs> Great. Just what we needed. More divide. <sighs> I hope you're right about this whole meat thing, Evelyn. Because if not, you just cost me one of my best friends. One of my only friends. Evelyn, you can't just go running off like that. I know, I know, but are you seeing this? This, uh, this is what Anne wanted us to find. I don't know about that. We shared everything together. Why would she keep a place like this secret? Maybe she was going to tell you before. Listen, we have to be careful, and Mrs. Harrod and Dr. Speck are probably already looking for us, but there's so much potential down here. This could become the base of our operations. We clearly can't plan anything upstairs without being caught, so, this will be the perfect hideout. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what your sister was using this place for. Do you see anything you recognize? Hmm, not really. Maybe the camera there. I think she had something like that that she smuggled in. If it's got any charge, she might have left me a message. Well, I think it's transmitting to the TV, so... We'll see if there's anything on here. Maybe there's some clues that might help us. Really, anything at this point. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hi, uh, Ash. It's Anne. I hope this little video will turn out all right. and I hope you'll find my little hideaway. I discovered it, but I didn't set it up. It looks like this place has been here for years. Orphans seeking shelter down here. It's kind of sad when you think about it. Anyway, I'm making this video just in case things go wrong. I 
found this place about a week ago, but I didn't tell you, and I'm sorry. But I wasn't sure if it was safe enough for both of us, and I still don't know if it is. There's a secret passage down here. It's a door to my left. Uh, here, I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there's two buttons, one to go and one to leave. It's a back door. It's a great way to get out when you need to. How do you think I've smuggled so much electronic devices in here without being caught? <laughs> I was tempted to escape out that door, but I knew I'd be leaving you and that wasn't right. And there's other girls here too that need saving. You and me are escaping tomorrow. <laughs> But just in case things don't go right, I really hope you find this video. There's a key next to the TV. It'll lead you to Mrs. Harrod's room. I need you to get some evidence in there and then leave through the back door. Take it to the police and they'll take it from there. Mrs. Harrod's on to me. She knows I'm up to something. But I hope that this video finds you, Ash. I pray that it finds you. But more than that, I pray that you don't even have to watch this video. That we escape tomorrow together. But if not, just know that I love you and you're going to make it through this. Okay? Good luck. And I'll see you again. I know I will. Wow. I don't know what to say. She really cared about me right till the end. And those wicked pets took her from me. I'm not gonna stand here and let it happen anymore. I'm getting out of here. No, Ash, wait. Wait for what? For my turn to get killed? I'm sorry, did you lose your sister? No, I did. And she just gave me a way out of this place. You think I'm not gonna take it? I understand, and I'd love to leave with you as well, but think about what you're doing. Clearly, Anne didn't just walk out on you. She came back because she wanted to leave with you together. And that's what I want to do. Well, then come on then. Let's get out of here. Nothing is stopping us. We can just leave and never look back. Oh, my dog, Ash. What are you not understanding about this? If we leave, that will solve nothing. Sure, we'll be nice and free, but that's not going to stop them from mistreating pets at this orphanage and possibly even eating them. I can't believe you're only thinking of yourself at a time like this. We had the whole thing planned out. We were going to go into Mrs. Herod's room, get some more evidence, find out what was going on at the restaurant, and save everyone here. Yeah, well, plans change. And if you want to stay here and die saving those brainwashed pets up there, be my guest. I'm smart enough to see that this is an opportunity and I'm getting out. This isn't a smart move. This is a selfish move. You're just scared to find out what happened to your sister. And I know I would rather die trying to save those brainwashed pets than run away like a coward. <laughs> then have fun dying then. Ash! No! Selfish mutt! <sighs> well then, if you're not going to get to the bottom of this and save these pets, I guess I will. <gasps> Crap, Mrs. Herod. How am I going to explain where I went? Think, Evelyn, think. Oh, I know. I'll just say I went to the bathroom. No one would have looked for me in there yet. Just gotta make it convincing and hope that I don't get caught. Mrs. Harrod is slowly trusting you, Evelyn. Don't mess it up now. What in dog's name is that noise? Um... Um, I 
think it's just some construction work outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. They're probably setting up for the festival. Yeah, the festival. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go lay down. I'm not feeling too well. <sighs> Evelyn? Hey, Mia. Thanks for covering for me there. Are Dr. Speck and Mrs. Harrod looking for me? I heard them calling my name. You bet they are. The doctor's been doing a full sweep of the second level, and Mrs. Harrod's been outside the whole time. Where did you two go? What, what did I just witness? It's a lot to explain, but it leads to a hideout. I'll take you there, but not right now. For now, I need your help. I need you to cover with me. See, I was in the bathroom, and we need to find somewhere to put this key. It leads to Mrs. Harrod's room, and I'm breaking in there tomorrow while she's out getting groceries. And if you don't mind, I'll need your help with that as well. Anything you need, Evelyn. Thank you for sharing this with me and trusting me. But uh, as for the key, I have a little basket over here. I never put anything in here and they never check it, so it should be safe. You are a lifesaver. Hmm? What the? <laughs> Think you can get away that easily, Evelyn? Dr. Speck! Evelyn's back! She's in her room! <gasps> The tail? Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell you, uh, Caroline's kind of not on our side anymore. Well, isn't that great? Another pet to look out for. Just get back in your bed. We'll pretend that we were hanging out after I came back from the bathroom. Okay, sure. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Nice of you to show up again, Evelyn. Oh, Dr. Speck. Mia told me you were looking for me. I'm sorry, I went to the bathroom. It had been a while since I had a good clean, and I took a long time in there. I apologize. Listen here. We know you're up to something, and I'm not stupid. So come here and tell me where Ash is now. Sorry to tell you, but I don't know where Ash is, doctor. <laughs> Listen here. I'm not going to play games with you anymore. You're jeopardizing a lot. So tell me where she is or things are going to get ugly. Um, are you threatening? One of the orphans under your care? I thought you were all for our well-being. <laughs> what is this? Is your act slipping? Dr. Speck, I don't know what's going on here, but you are going to report to my private headquarters right this instant. Mrs. Harrod, I can explain everything that's happening here, please. I don't need an explanation, doctor. Get up there now. We will discuss this in private. As for you two, you will both be having an early night, grounded to this room. Is there anything you'd like to say, Evelyn, about Ash's whereabouts? I swear to you, Mrs. Harrod, I don't know where she is. I was just in the bathroom. You better not be lying to me, Evelyn. I'll send Dr. Speck in here later to collect Ash's mattress, like we discussed earlier. Now get to bed. Wait, so you're telling me there's a secret passage behind this wardrobe? Yep. And Ash just ran off. I have no idea if she's ever coming back or even where she went. That's crazy. Why didn't you just leave as well? Because I wasn't just going to leave you here, Mia. Oh, crap, I can hear someone coming. But listen, I need your help tomorrow, okay? 
Yeah, of course. I'll help you with anything you need. Great, thank you. Now get to bed before I get in trouble. I've recorded more guests than last year. It's going to be a grand celebration, no doubt. Yes, yes, of course. We already have some fine candidates picked out. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I don't mean to interrupt. <sighs> what is it, doctor? As you can see, I'm talking with one of our council members. I just thought I'd inform you that I've taken care of our little problem. I see. Very good, doctor. We just need to track down that other little problem, and then things will be sorted. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Things will be full steam ahead for the festival. Good. Good. And I can trust you. Right, doctor? Uh, yes, Mrs. Harrod. I'll do whatever you need of me. Good. Because lately we've had a few mishaps, which is not acceptable, doctor. I can very easily find a replacement for you. So keep it together, or else it's your neck on the line. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Completely. Good. Be gone. We have things to discuss. Um, I do apologize about that. There aren't any issues, are there? Because if so, I'm sure we can find another supplier. No, no issues at all. A few minor setbacks, but nothing we haven't been able to handle, and everything is on track now. Believe me. Good. Now, I've already supplied you with the timetable, so let's talk about the guest list. Right, uh, of course. Maya. Maya, wake up. Huh? What? Uh, who? Maya, over here. Please, I need your help. Oh, my dog. Are, are you okay, Evelyn? What's wrong? I feel like I can't move my body. It's like I'm stuck. What's going on? Oh, no. It sounds like they gave you the big needle. What dog's name is the big needle? Am I gonna be okay? You should be okay. It just takes a while to wear off. I don't know what's in it, but I've seen them give this big needle to Ash before. It kind of numbs your whole body so you can't move. They usually use it when she's losing her temper. Why do you think they gave it to you? I don't know. They're probably on to us, which means we don't have a lot of time. Listen, Maya, I need to ask a huge favor of you. I was going to sneak into Mrs. Harrod's room today while she was out getting groceries, but clearly plans have changed. So, I need you to do it. But I need you to do it now. What? Everyone's still here. If I get caught? I know, but if we don't act now, it might be too late. You've already seen what they've done to Caroline. How brainwashed she is. What if they do that to you next? What if they paralyze you like me? You need to do this now. Please. I... Okay, what do I need to do? <sighs> Thank you. Okay, you need to get the key out of the bin next to your bed. From there, go unlock Mrs. Harrod's room. Be careful, I don't know where Dr. Speck and Mrs. Harrod are going to be, so you need to be on full alert. Once you're inside, you need to try and look for any evidence that might connect us to the restaurant. Okay? A schedule, a list, anything like that. I need you to grab it and bring it back here as well as any phones, electronics, chargers, anything like that that could help us get communication to the outside world. You realize how incredibly dangerous this is, don't you? Dr. Speck is always upstairs in the kitchen. I know, but you're so small you'll be able to slip in and out without detection. Just get back here as quick as you can. Hopefully by then I'll be able to move some more and we can really kick this plan into action. Okay. I'll 
See you soon. Uh-oh. Yes, yes, well done. Oh, Maya, you're up early. What do you have there? Uh, an electric razor for my legs. I was just heading to the bathroom. Excuse me. Oh, uh, all right. Um, Caroline. Yes, Mrs. Harrod? You're close with the girls. Do you believe Maya is trustworthy anymore? Hmm... around like there are a million bucks she sure lives in a scroungy bedroom okay what am i looking for oh phone charger what well, looks like a schedule list this is the jackpot doctor i need a meal for caroline asap it seems like i finally broke her she's willing to do whatever i ask Oh, and by the way, I saw that my bedroom door was open. I'm assuming you found my last extra key. Keep it shut, would you? Yep, yep, sure thing, ma'am. <laughs> oh, crap. Better get out of here quick. <sighs> Wait a minute. I didn't find the spare key. Alan! Alan! Whoa. I got everything. It, is that secret passage? Maya. Oh my dog. Thank goodness you're okay. And yeah, it's the only safe space right now. Come on, we have to get down here. Oh my dog, be careful. I'm coming. Watch your step coming down, okay? I don't want you to trip. Oh my dog, do not worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. So, you got everything in the bag. Oh, did I ever take a look? Oh my dog, Maya, this is everything I needed. You're amazing. Does the phone have any charge? Yeah, uh, seems like it. It was turned on when I got there. Ah, oh, great. Here, I took Anne's old phone. It needs charging, so just hook it up near the TV. There seems to be power still running down here. Will do. By the way, there was this schedule list that I grabbed. It says that there's going to be the main feast in two days when the festival's on. Huh. Well, that just sounds lovely, doesn't it? Does it say anything else? Any other activities? Hmm. Oh my dog. What? They're having a meeting, like right now. And it says it right here. Crap, I have to go. What, are you crazy? That's a suicide mission. Listen, Maya, by the time that feast rolls around, it may be too late for us. So I need to get evidence now. I'll take this phone and we'll communicate via text, okay? Plug this one in, charge it, so we can keep in contact. But, but what if something happens to you? You're the only one I can trust now. If something happens to me, you get out and you never look back, okay? Now I have to go. You put that phone on charge and you stay connected to me, okay? We're gonna get through this. Y yeah, okay. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> of course we do. It's you and me now. I'll be back in no time. So you be careful now, Mia. Hey, Mia? Uh, 
Yeah? I'm glad you and I got to trust each other. Me too, Evelyn. You better come back safe. <laughs>